Make Space by KP, a boat building and woodworking channel. There. Yeah, jams every time. Voila! You can... A little WD-40 for ya. PB Blaster? Yeah. It's all the same to me. It's, uh, it's similar. Some loop. It's loop. <laughs> so, <laughs> here's the two replacement. <laughs> here's the instructions for the mortise and tenon. Love it. Here's a whole bunch of already mounted blades that are sharp. <laughs> now we can sharpen the flat edge here at the shop. We can't yeah. sharpen the round. Yes, we built our own sharpening kit. So someday we'll see. Look at my shop. I'm picking up shop here. <laughs> you have yeah. to be 62 in a moment. You can lie about it. I, I mean, I'm, you have to I'm double your age grays. to get there. I'm getting grays. I'll be 62 <laughs> next year. So, they're all for different purposes. <laughs> How do you actually get all this together? This is locked on the tube right now in this position, horizontally okay. speaking. Yep. So we'll unlock it vertically. Here's the unlock mechanism. Mm -hmm. Just turn it open. And then this crank, now that it's been, this will come up and the saw blade comes under the table. Now the key here, Randy, if you'll unscrew, there's a turn knob. Is it red? Yes. Okay. Now, then you can take, and you're mm -hmm. standing on this side, you lift it just above the blade height. Okay. And you're going to be able to move it. Oh, nice. See, that's the up and down. You see this piece of plastic that's keeping this, us from moving? Yeah, this vacuum. It's a vacuum. The vacuum system, right? and it's a saw safety blade cover. This does interfere with lowering, but you yeah. just remove it, and you can get ice. Right. Okay. The wow. instruction system and the home course that you can test yourself on. It comes with quizzes, <laughs> but it explains every aspect of how you do this. Did in you take sequence. the quiz? Did you, are the I answers did, I, in there? Oh, there's, oh, no, the they give you the answer sheets, there? yeah. Oh, they do. But it's like oh, my gosh, the, <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> the cup center rotates with the stock. False. False. The cup center. I don't even understand the questions. Uh, wrenches and such that go nice. for the mortising bits are all in Beautiful. here. Beautiful. And it's best. Right. right. Okay, so that one's here. Box of bandsaw blades, a lifetime yes. supply of all different widths and teeth. Love it. <gasps> so there's the shop nice. ones, and as you get more, it will come through. Deal. Deal. This shop is amazing, so I will be back. Here is everything in Whoa. the bags. Chuck the keys Chucks. and okay. wrenches. And <laughs> because mm -hmm. that's their system. Yep. The turning pieces, tools, adjusters. We're both uh, drilling as well as for grinding. Here's the Jacobs Chucks. Here are brand new mandrels for putting on more saw blades. Here's the power takeoffs. These are for when you're doing lathe work so that these are your hand tool rests. So like this? Yeah. This will allow you to set the bandsaw into here on the floor when you're not using it. For lathe and turning. So if you're turning small bowls, small platters, it's another Jacobs chuck that is made just for that purpose for doing the small stuff on this machine. I told you I had a shop smith too, but it only had about one third of all these. That's, pieces. I mean, some of them you look at and they're, these are all rusted and like you only have to get some yeah. Here, Randy, you, here's a couple of more of these. Um, if you Ooh. want, the, if you're the kind of person who uses little boxes to hold little things. I do. Okay. Wow. So here's the piece that we were talking about before. Here's your fence yeah. and it squeezes it down yeah. just far enough like to give you safety. Oh, okay. Just, okay. Right. You push and use this way and ran you loose that way. Push your thumb screw up. And now this will slide right on. So you've got one 
two, three, four. I love and they all extension. lock on, yeah. and then you can retension them. Time to time is to put furniture polish on them because that makes it slide more mm -hmm. easily. And so I'm then, thrilled. Once we remember that mechanism, it made life <laughs> a whole lot easier. There's an additional table there. One could, in theory, put this down here at this end if you had a really long piece of wood that you wanted to mm. keep steady on here mm -hmm. as you're cutting. Mm -hmm. A piece of wood to get sure. your height, and you lock it by tightening this way. Oh. To raise the whole machine up for drilling, and it's in the book, you would take off this table, you would take off the guard, and you'd take off the blade, mm -hmm. and then you would lift this all the way up, and it comes up that way, and there's a safety lock here so it can't slide back down once it's in the vertical position. Oh, yeah, lock, hinge. Yep. Yeah, they're very good about this. And then, for the bandsaw, it's the same thing. Unlock the bandsaw for carrying it or packing. You would roll this towards you. So this is where I made a mistake the other day. Randy, if you'll hold this, just hold that vertically. So I would take my hand and I would roll this towards me and that allows it to shift up and down. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, shift up and down. Should we, or yeah, should we? Off for now for okay. The up. I got it. Okay. okay. When you're working and you're just working on the saw uh, or something that's steady with this in the horizontal position, mm -hmm. just lock this down and it pulls these tubes extra rigid and tight. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's one of the nice features of the 510 model. Oh, they this, don't all have that. They don't, earlier oh, they didn't and then do it that. gets a little wobbly. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. that's all the parts. Learn to assemble it using the book, and you yes. can always call if you get stuck. And I'll refer to videos. And refer to the videos. <laughs> and, and I have your email. <laughs> yes, you can ask. You can ask. Now. We're in. Okay, then you'll lock the wheels at that point. That's not locked. We're also giving you a whole bunch of. Shopsmith okay. catalogs and explanatory books from the 50s and 60s. Now. Well, thank okay, you. Great. This is so great. I will keep you posted on how things go. Okay. Thank yeah, keep both. us posted. It's... Let us know what books you need as you're going through the different parts of it. And any questions that come up on the subject. Okay. Look forward to it. All right. Thanks, okay. guys. It's not fancy, but it's space efficient and it'll do me for a while because this is my shop. Almost.
That's what the inside of the Shopsmith bandsaw looks like. As you can see, we are working hard to study up on this Shopsmith bandsaw. Because so far, every time I turn it on, it trips a breaker. So I'm imagining this is too tight, but it doesn't feel too tight. So perhaps it's this alignment. I lubed all the moving parts, like there and there with the dry lube. It was a graphite dry lube. I switched the blade out, so I tensioned, detensioned, and realigned that. The shopsmith has different speeds, which are very important depending on what tool you're using. Since I want to use, well, it's the bandsaw, but it's the same as the jigsaw. We want it on slow speed. Cannot turn the speed dial unless it's moving. And since every time I turn it on, it trips a breaker, I'm gonna take that spindle off to reduce all the friction from the motor. Turn the motor on, slow it down, reconnect it, and maybe that will be the solution. So disconnect this drive spindle. We need to move the whole thing to my right, which means we need to unlock the headstock, like so. We need to move this guard, which keeps it in the way. This way. It's very easy, because I've waxed and lubed Finish. Boom, easy as that. Lock that back up. And hopefully I can decrease the speed. I think by golly, that might be the reason. Wow, that slowed down a whole lot. So let's put the spindle back on. Let's put this on this side with the spring is the motor side. This is the accessory side. That helps me. Motor. more like it. There's no burn marks. There's, it's just cuts. It just cuts. <laughs>